Billy Are we? Mr. Toastmaster, friends and anybody here who remembers their teenage years. The year was 1989. I was a teenager and my parents were desperate. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? College years were quickly approaching and my grades not there. Both my parents were brilliant students and very trusting of each other because they quickly ruled out any problems with my genes. And having tried everything else, they turned to the supernatural, the Swami. One afternoon, my mom and I went to the old part of the city where the buildings were so close that sunlight was a myth. And here in a small hut sat Swamiji. Because he is a very good student, good potential, uh, but the grades are not there. My wife, my mom pleaded. Meditation, try meditation, was the answer. And in a flash, Swamiji's attention was on the next person. One look at my parents and I knew I would have to give this meditation a try. But immediately I found an unexpected benefit. Did you know meditation is cool? Yeah, the next time you are with friends, as we mentioned, you are into meditation and see how their expressions change. I guarantee for the next half hour, you will be the center of all attention. Like the yogi who can walk on fire, people will come to you to bask in the warmth of your halo. Though I was enjoying all the attention, my actual meditation practice had run into a problem. You would imagine that sitting in a room with your eyes closed would not be a big deal. But uh, I just couldn't stay awake. Uh, at the moment I walked into a room, sat down, closed my eyes, uh, I was sleeping like a baby. And so my mom and I went back to Swamiji. Ask question, who are you? He said. Yeah. What does that mean? The next few months, were confusing. I did manage to stay awake for a few sessions, but this was really like a total waste of time, except that my grades started to improve. In fact, they improved so much that I got into a good school. Over the years, I came to the US, got married, but meditation stayed a part of my life. Uh, I like being cool. But apart from that, it had a major impact on my academics. I often remembered this Swamiji. You know, I still haven't been able to sleep as well as I slept during those early meditation sessions. <laughs> but I also could not forget the question that he had asked me. Who are you? Who are you? Who cares? Why would somebody ask that question? And one day, just like that, I figured it out. Oh, I remember that day so clearly. It was the 29th of January, 2003. And that year, I had just turned to pick 3-0. And that, for even a person like me who doesn't drink, I allowed myself a few drinks for reflection and celebration. It was also the year when I had got a letter from MIT. They were accepting me with full scholarship for a PhD. And that in itself was the problem. When I told my mother, that she said, oh, because now you are living to your potential. But I was a man of science. And believe me, with enough funding, I could, we could find the differential equations even for love. But to believe that my success was not due to my efforts, but to, due to something supernatural, was tough. 
the words kept haunting me. Who are you? Who are you? And then suddenly I realized that the Swami had tricked me. The moment he had seen me, he knew that just like everybody else, I was too busy with the details of life. Trying to be a, a brother, a son, a good family member all the time. And whatever else I had left, I was spending the time on studies or watching TV. That sounds like your life, doesn't it? But all he wanted me to do was to spend some time with myself. So that I could ask myself the question, who am I? Find out what are my strengths, my weaknesses, what I like. Find out about myself so that I can find my potential. Friends, there are a lot of us here who are still waiting for their Swami so that they can reach their potential. Not realizing that the only reason you don't reach your potential is because you don't know your potential. Because you don't know yourself. I ask you now, the Swami asked me that, Ah. Mr. President.